Hi, again, it is uh, still February 9, 2019. I want to say the reason why I'm doing this, uh, the video that I just posted with Barry Trower, the confidential report on the Tetra system, the microwaves, this I'm going to be posting, Mind Control with Silent Sounds, and my next video, it, it's we have so much technology that now they are capable of, well, altering our brains. So when I hear from a lot of people who are saying, I don't feel myself anymore, I know something's going on. I've had too many experiences. The last experience I had with a close friend has left me so I, I just don't even know. Well, I'll be posting videos talking about it. As far as I'm concerned, this is the most important issue that we face because if we are being controlled already, if the population is being controlled, and unfortunately, it is so easy to control people who do not know who they are. So when you have a population, the majority of whom have never done any work on their own self. They don't know their own truth. They haven't faced their own truth. They haven't done uh, any of that, you know, self-reflection, um, the uh, introspective work, reevaluating those beliefs. They are so easily manipulated. That's what. That's why I've been so rather passionate about. You've got to do this work. Uh, you know, you have to change. You have to do the work necessary to change yourself so that you know who you are. You are of, of a higher consciousness. You have greater awareness of yourself, of others, of your surroundings. You know your emotions. You know your behavior. You understand your behavior. You know why you behave the way you do in all circumstances. Most people don't even know at all why they do what they do. So would they be able to discern a subtle change? No. The idiocy, the immaturity that we are seeing, it's a public display now. People behaving in ways that they should know, oh, this is, this should not be coming from an adult. Why, why can't they see what they are doing? I do believe that we are already in a prison grid. The lockdown is coming from the use of all of this technology to control the population. So, and I posted a lot of this on Kafka Winston World, and this is very, very important. This right here, SSSS, which is... Um, Silent sounds, mind control with silent sounds. Can't remember, but I'll get to the other S's. I do want to just say that if you click on the link, you can get to read the full document, which also contains a lot of very important information. So military use of mind control weapons. I'm just going to skip down to Silent sound spread spectrum, mind altering mechanism, which is based in this subliminal carrier technology. It's sometimes called S squad or squad. It was developed by Dr. Oliver Lowry. Hang on for one sec. I just had a sneezing fit. Um, Dr. Oliver Lowry of Norcross, Georgia, and is described in U.S. Patent, you can read the number 5159703, Silent Subliminal Presentation System. The abstract, this is what it reads, a silent communication system in which uh, nor-oral, nor, non-oral, sorry, um, Non. Wow. 
No, no, Earl. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, I something is not right, and I'll get into that in another video. But I just hope that you'll have patience with me. Um, Non-oral carriers in the very low or very high audio frequency range or in the adjacent ultrasonic frequency spectrum. I want to stop there to say the ultrasonic, the extremely low frequencies. We've seen them on sites, myself and others, posting videos showing you all of those very defined lines that come jutting out of areas in our country. Those are extremely low frequencies, which they can use for weather modification, but they can also use it for mind control. That's right. So the ultrasonic frequency spectrum are amplitude or frequency modulated with the desired intelligence and propagated acoustically or vibrationally for inducement into the brain, typically through the use of loudspeakers, earphones, or piezoelectric transducers. What is that? Every time I see piezoelectric, I can't help but think of smart dust. Intelligence dust particles embedded in the brain could form an entirely new form of brain-machine interface. They are altering life on the planet. That includes you. It includes your brain. Smart dust. Hmm. Nano. Nano sensors. Nano dust. Nano technology. All right. As I'm doing this, I cannot believe what's going on. All right, I don't like doing this because you know most people don't even believe it. But as I'm speaking, these frequencies are bouncing back and forth from ear to ear with a rather strange high-pitched hiss. All of this new. Um, I hate saying this, but it's so um, distracting that it's hard not to bring it up because it's so right there. But yeah, the smart dust. All right, so you think about what I posted uh, the last video. These microwave frequencies cross the blood brain barrier. They they open up the barrier that keeps out the toxins. So the microwaves that so many are just, well, they're bathed in it. You think about the kids who go to school with the Wi-Fi. They come home to Wi-Fi homes. They are bathed in frequencies that allow the nanoparticulates to go right into their brain. Sensors are in people's brains and changing them. They're changing people. Each particle of neural dust consists of standard CMOS circuits and sensors that measure the electrical activity in neurons nearby. Wow. Huh. This is coupled to a piezoelectric material that converts ultra-high frequency sound waves into electrical signals and vice versa. Ultra high frequencies, sound waves coming out of radar, coming out of Gwen Towers, crossing your blood brain barrier, you're breathing in this smart dust, you're breathing in smart sensors, they're in your brain. It's piezoelectric material, and once in your brain, the frequencies convert it. It's rather like an RFID system. Hmm. So, the mark of the beast, 
Well, it's you've already taken him. Um, I want to go through just a little bit of this uh, smart materials for military applications. It is a slide presentation. I will link below to everything so you can check it out on your own, but here it is. Um, smart. It's smart materials for military applications. Smart concept definition, smart clothing, smart dust. Smart materials incorporate intelligence into systems, object, which make object, things, systems smart. Your brain is smart for the military. It's artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, soft computing, all used to make the system smart. You're part of the system. Your brain is the system that they are talking about. Um, piezoelectric, electrostrictive, magnetostrictive, shape memory alloys. That's the uh, structure of the smart dust, smart materials, smart structure. Um, military applications. Intelligence gathering. Intelligence gathering going on in your brain. And method for dispersal? UAVs, drones. Another method? Include it with the aluminum, barium, strontium, lithium, all of the nanoparticulates that you see being sprayed out. It all comes down, and we're all breathing that right into our brains. So, it's not, you know, a, a please don't ever respond to anybody who um, is telling you that they're feeling not themselves. They don't feel like themselves anymore because it's not for sympathy and that people will be dying you know, people are really struggling now. You're going to see an awful lot of people dying off very quickly. So, yeah, part of the doing that personal work on yourself is to strengthen your own moral core, to get you to a place where your care and compassion is genuine. Uh, it's a force beyond yourself. And uh, it helps to mitigate a lot of the emotions that a lot of people are feeling just living this time period. There's an awful lot of people out there that need comfort, solace, and they're not getting it. So smart nanobots, oh, they're out there already. Um, and I just want to show you this. What does a smart nanobot, what can it do? Well, oh, what is this? What is this? Somebody's up there taking a picture of this office? Or is it a nanobot? It, or is it a moat? It's a moat. Oh, this is surveillance. You don't know the moat is there, but it's spying on you. Reading everything that you're doing, everything that you are doing. Do you think these are not everywhere now? Um, moats are dispersed by UAVs across a battle space, like food packets. They just drop them. You can see the food packet. You can't see the moat. They drop these sensors everywhere around the world. They're spying on everything. Everything. All the data that these moats are taking in, they get stored in the huge data storage banks. And should they need it in the future, they can pull it up very quickly on you 
and they have all the information they need. It's hard to fathom all of this, but don't think it's not happening. It is. So food packets, they yield real-time information about enemy or troops, the movements of the troops, and remote observations, tactical environment. Um, it's a tiny operating system. Main purpose is to collect and relay information. It's a nanostructured silicon sensor which can spontaneously assemble, orient, sense, and report on their local environment which can be used in a number of applications. Your brain is an environment. Your body is an environment. All environments now. A dust mode. A nano dust mode. It's an autonomous node incorporating sensing, computing, com um, communications. It's a power source. So we are living in a time when we, we're already in that prison grid. You know, a lot of people, I included, um, was talking about 5G. Oh, my God, the prison grid. No, it's here already. It's here already. You know, it's AI. Um, and I'm going to be posting another video recommending that you listen to it because the art of artificial intelligence is already here. It's already operating. So let's get back to this. I'm sorry. Um, so the modulated carriers may be transmitted directly in real time or may be conveniently recorded and stored on mechanical, magnetic, or optical media for delayed or repeated transmission to the listener. According to the literature, by Silent Sounds Incorporated, it is now possible using supercomputers to analyze human emotional patterns and replicate them, then store these emotion signature clusters, your emotion signatures, on a computer and at will silently induce and change the emotional state of you. Doing uh, or by using these computer enhanced EEGs, scientists can identify and isolate the brain's low amplimode, amplitude emotion signature clusters. The system delivery, two methods for this particular system. One, direct microwave introduction into the brain, induction into the brain of the subject which is limited. The microwaves are short. The other, as described above, utilizes ordinary radio and television carrier frequencies. So, while I don't understand this well enough to probably articulate it clearly, but think of those extremely low frequencies being set off that we've seen coming out of the um, hmm, the radar sites. They have, you know, the, the low end of the frequencies. They can extend 300 miles. They can, due to, you know, the radius from the Gwen Towers, you have a radius of 300 miles from where it is situated. All of those frequencies going out can modulate and hook on to 
electrical um, charges or electricity that can go right into your home. I hope I'm understanding this correctly. If I'm not, please let me know. But it's like a, I don't know if any of you have seen videos on the Lily wave that was discovered, I think, in the 70s. I, I can't remember exactly. But that was another. The Lily wave could hook on to power lines, the electricity of the power lines, and go right into people's homes and alter the frequencies within those individuals, alter the frequencies within their brains. Silent sound subliminal system might utilize voice commands. They also can use this in stores and shopping malls. Um, you go in, you hear the music, but behind the music is that subliminal message tells you not to shoplift or buy, 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 buy more, buy more. Um, but the voice commands alone are powerful. Couple that with this subliminal presentation system carrying cloned emotional signatures, you have just now squared power full. And the result obviously is very overwhelming. Okay, just wanting you to see there's so many ways in which we can be controlled already. They got us, guys, sorry to say, they got us. There is no turning back, unfortunately. That's why it's crucial that we really reach out to one another um, and we try to behave in the world as trustworthy human beings that who are loving and compassionate. When you are someone who is now chronically 24-7 experiencing life in a whole new way and you're racked with physical pain and a lot of emotions, stress, you know, and I know based on the comments that I'm reading, so many of you are there. When you know that there's nothing much you can do in terms of protecting yourself from these frequencies, from everything that's taking place, uh, I really do think that we need to become better. We need to become better human beings so that we're not more and more isolated. I hope you understood what I meant. Anyway, I will link below to this. And please let me know how you're feeling. I'd love to hear how you guys are feeling. Because that helps. You know, if you're not feeling yourself, you don't understand why you're feeling the way you are feeling, um, not just physically, but emotionally. Are you behaving in ways that is not you? Please let us know. I will tell you something is happening here that is not right. It's so not right. And it has be well, I'll get into this in my next video, but I know me. I've done that work. I know me. I know that I live circumstances that are very stressful. But something is happening, and I am feeling like I'm slipping away because I can't seem to reverse it, and it's been going on way too long. It is not fun, 
It's pissing me off, but it's here. And this is, this is what life has become for me. Now, don't leave comments about, you know, detoxing and do this and do that because you, you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I've done. And um, I've done a lot. So, yeah, it really is just one hell of a flippy time that we are living. The link is below.